so hi guys so welcome to the new android video so i'm going to make tutorials about jetpack compose throughout the basics basically everything you need to know in android studio in 2021 so in case you live behind the rock and you don't know what jetpack compose is there this is and this is just a new way of designing native android applications using kotlin so no more xml and it was terrible in my opinion so that was really not much fun that made things so complicated and because so often you didn't know what should i put that in xml file should i create a drawable file or should i put that into a themes file so all that bad things we don't need to worry about more so because now we design android apps in kotlin now we so now we write the business logic in kotlin so now we do everything in kotlin and because jetpack compose is very new Hmm. so it's not included in stable android studio so what we need to do is we need to download this android studio arctic fox so the so this version of android is just a kind of experimental version so and then if you don't have this android studio click this so you will be redirected to this site and when you download this arctic fox beta 5 so it will be a zip file and when you unpick that it will look like and it will look like this so and then here so open this binary folder over here and then here you go android studio 64 so if you use a 34-bit system then you need this i guess okay. yeah but now more about people use a 64 bit in so 2021 so when you launch this file then you'll have a new project over here just want to create a new project and you can see that a little different from stable android Show. and you have an option to choose empty compose activity so that's what we want to choose here so clicking next so here you go so give an application name for example give compose for you okay and then yeah everything is fine and then click finish so yeah there we go that's now an empty compose project it will just take few possible and you can see this activity we still have the same main activity that's quite as same as before but you notice that this looks different than what we had on a staple android studio so what we had on an xml so you can also see when we go to this resource folder there's no layout folder anymore because we don't have xml file anymore so the way we will design this native android apps is using and using kotlin so as i said before and yeah you can see there's an on create function over here that's called when an activity is created so in that function we have set content function so what we called a view before is now a composable so you can see that here the function greeting is an annotated with a composable that's actually now what was a view before in android so define ui now in android so this simply defined functions in Kotlin. So what we try to do here is we separate our UI into single components. So let's see how that works. So yeah, I'll remove the themes over here. Uh, actually, the whole block. Uh, so actually, we don't want to worry about this for now. I'll just remove it since it's just function that's composable. So yeah, we can call it in set content okay so we want to call greeting yeah so where name is equal to which will be select yeah good thing okay the function just have a parameter here for the name and i'll just write yeah code tech like this so with this, it will call that greeting composable. 
and greeting function contains a text oh hello with the name and that's code tech so yeah the and then when we run this code over here and then here so here we go and also you don't always need to launch our app over here you can also see the default preview over here which android Studio generated for us and with that function we can preview our composable so yes you can see you can see the preview over here so by default it's android and so that's why it displays the android over here um also when we update this with hello and then yeah here here you go okay so that's cool and that's it yes and we can also put these into single files to structure our project in a nice way so i hope you like this introduction to jetpack compose and i hope that uh, you will also follow my next videos on this will actually make cool looking ui and drive deeper into all these composables and yep uh, just we learned that how it works and thank you for watching uh, if you like this and then subscribe to the channel to get faster updates on my next videos other than that wish you a nice day see you in the next video bye bye